What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. You know, interesting point in the community. I've had a lot of people come up to me actually and ask me about how the independent games, you know, Axis, Canadian Football, even if you want to talk about IMV, how can they compete in the marketplace against Madden if they're going to be digital downloads? And for the time being, we know those three games will be digital only. And it's funny to me that people seem to get this ideology that, well, someone may be persuaded to not buy Madden simply off a retail display or a game may sell more because it's sitting beside Madden on a shelf. And I guess the reason I don't understand that is because so much of what Madden has been has became around its name, its legacy, the NFL kind of involved in it. You think about the mid-rent releases that we used to have, which, you know, truthfully, I, I think maybe I've been to one. I think I went to one with, uh, a family member. I don't know that I've ever been to any outside of that, and it wasn't really all that busy. I will say for what it's worth, from the people in the community that do go to them, they kind of tell me that they get smaller and fewer each year, that the fanfare has died down, and a lot of that is probably just complacency with the product, or people that have gotten older and moved on from video games, whatever the case may be. But, you know, in many cases, when I think about competing games in the marketplace... You know, we're going on a substantial amount of time. You think about NFL 2K5, you know, you're talking about 13, 14 years here before you, someone could walk in as a consumer to a store and actually see a game sit beside Madden that may kind of persuade you to purchase it instead of Madden. You know, prior to that, we had multiple games in the marketplace. You know, think about game day. Think about players that took other namesakes. I mean, Chris Berman had a football game. You know, so you always had those options, but I never looked at those as steering me away from one game or another. It was always where, you know, maybe I had to mow a couple more yards, maybe I had to do whatever I had to do around the house, but I was going to purchase all those football games and get all those different experiences. So why, when we talk about games now that would probably hit the marketplace at a third of what Madden's cost may be, and of course that's hard to know to project what's going to happen, but you essentially could look at a real possibility of buying two games for the price of Madden now. As a consumer, why wouldn't you try to go out and get all those different experiences the same way many of us did, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago? So it's an odd concept that people seem to have ingrained in their mind that unless there's actually a game on disc that's going to sit in a shelf at a store beside Madden or another game, that these games won't get any of the publicity or coverage or notoriety or advertising power, I suppose, that Madden, ca Madden can get. And in reality, you know, they're never going to get that. Unless we have another game come out with an actual license, you're not going to have any game that's independently going to generate the type of viewer engagement, response, and media eyes that Madden will with the NFL license. And that's all there is to it. We can talk about modding games and creating the game that we want as a consumer, me, myself, and I. You know, I wanted the Colts roster in Axis Football. I wanted the Jaguars roster in Axis Football. I was the one that went and did that. It didn't change any of how that game was sold or marketed to anyone else. People may have looked at it and said, well, if this is possible and he did it, perhaps I can. So I want to take advantage of that as well. But again, I don't think it's moving any copies of the game. And I think where we are now is a society where a majority of games are available for digital download. I don't think it impacts it much. I mean, I could be wrong. This is just my opinion. You know, someone that's seen the marketplace grow and adapt and evolve from, you know, Backbreaker and 2K. And I even you'd want to talk about, you know, I guess your substandard football games like Blitz the League and things along those lines, even when EA competed with itself. I mean, that ideology would almost have you assume that NCAA football took buys away from Madden because they sat on a shelf beside each other. That doesn't make any sense. They actually work together hand in hand. Now, maybe it's different if someone's strictly speaking about a competing product, but if we're talking about someone who only has $60 or $70 to spend on a football game, then they have to make that decision, or they had to make that decision, between NCAA and Madden. And a lot of people that I knew actually chose to buy NCAA football as opposed to Madden for many of the same reasons they don't buy Madden today. But it was an interesting concept. I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. I hope that each and every one of you took time today to either reflect or spend with your mothers. It is their day. None of us would be here without a mother or a woman in our lives. So I appreciate you guys taking time out of a very special day for me to watch this video. And you know that I'll be back in the week with more commentary.